Hello snowboarders, JG here at Ski Essentials. I'm here today talking about the Rosingo Retox. We had this board on our on snow test this past spring and uh, this is a little bit of throwback to a graphic that they pretty sure it was somewhere in the 90s. So they're bringing the graphic back on a new construction um, but on a traditional uh, twin shaped board. Twin flex, centered stance, same tip and tail length, uh, camber, um, very traditional board. Price is uh, $489, uh, and it comes in sizes, uh, I think, 143 up to 156. Um, it's like this, this, this is the twin tip, you know? It's like uh, no, no thrills or frills about it. Everything's set up twin, twin. Um, Anthony had given it a spin at our test, and he gave it a, a overall rating of a four and said it was like your do-it-all board. Um, not just not just in the park, and uh, he kind of he really liked the way it rode. I rode it, and um, I I think I expected a little bit more from it. I, I had a hard time um, uh, getting in the groove on it for some reason. And I'm not a big fan of twin tips, um, and I always set my stance back a little bit. But uh, you know, overall, it didn't seem as playful as I really wanted it to be. Um, the flex on it is. It could have been the flex. The flex rating is a seven on a scale of one to 10, which is on the higher side. I usually prefer a board probably more of like a four or five, nice and soft so I can manipulate the board in my turns and um, you know, e easing into tricks and out of tricks. Um, but cool shape and uh, you, know, you might be the only one on the hill that has some uh, corn cob board, so there you go. The Rosingle Retox.